Good morning, guys. I am Jeff the Homestead Dad, and welcome to Homestead. Today is chicken butchering day. We have about 60 to 65 birds that we're going to be butchering, and then my buddy Chaz is bringing over, I think he said a little bit less than 50 birds. So we're right in the neighborhood of 110 to 120 birds to butcher. Um, it is a little bit before seven o'clock right now. I don't have to milk, so we just gotta get straight to getting the chores done and getting the chickens loaded up. What we're gonna do is, we've got a trailer over there. We're gonna use one of our John Siskovich style chicken tractors, put that on there, and then transfer all of the birds into the tractor. We'll probably strap the tractor down so it doesn't move and doesn't bounce around and the chickens don't get out. But let's get to that right now. Also, Joshua looks like he's working on a bike. Um, which he doesn't need to be doing right now. Uh, but he's coming. Jacob's coming. Grace is coming. Lucy would have been coming, but she's not feeling well. And we've got some other people coming that I'll introduce you to when we get there. Let's roll. Okay, you can see the turkeys here behind us. About a week ago, we started letting them out during the day so that this tractor was empty today. So, sorry I didn't get any video of it. Um, I remember when we built this thinking, oh, this will be perfect. It'll fit right up on the trailer. And thankfully it did because I started pushing it up and I was like, wow, this is gonna be close. So you can see there's probably six inches on each side. And there's maybe six inches total distance lengthwise. So I'm going to go ahead and back this up next to that one. We're going to start transferring birds from there into here. And then we're going to go, I'll pull it over next to the other chicken tractor. And we'll put those meat birds in and we'll get going. So let's get moving. <laughs> Okay, so that's half the birds. Well, almost half the birds. We gotta figure out which roosters we're taking that are extra roosters. Like, we're keeping that guy that just crowed and that guy next to him. And I think that big black one there 
but most of the rest of the roosters are going to freezer camp because we have too many roosters as if you guys have watched for a while you know so like that white guy is a new rooster that lavender that's dark black he needs to go so we need to start collecting those guys i need to charge this camera up otherwise we're not going to have enough video or battery power to show you guys the actual processing so i probably won't show you us chasing the chickens around um but i'll show you when we get there so let's get there For those of you who are interested, I will be posting a full length video with a lot more details and a lot more video on exactly how we butchered the chickens. For this video, it's going to be a monetized version that doesn't have all of those details. So look in the description for a link to the full video if that's what you're interested in. Otherwise, continue watching for the basic outlines of how we went about this. Hey guys, so yesterday we butchered, today we just transferred all of the chickens from these garbage cans over here, right there, they were filled with water. We soaked the plants, or the, the plants, we soaked the chickens in here uh, overnight, 24 hours, now they're on the shelf, they'll air dry and stay cool in here for another 24 hours, we'll come tomorrow and we'll either package them up or give them to their final destination owners. So. This is what 110, 115 chickens look like. Hey guys, so it is Monday evening, actually quite late on Monday evening. And I have already uh, had most people come and pick up their birds. Uh, I have one more person coming up to pick, uh, coming to pick up two more birds tomorrow. And then we have our birds that we put away. So the process was butcher on Saturday, leave in water Saturday night to Sunday, take the birds out Sunday, and let them air dry in the walk-in cooler from Sunday until today. And then people came and picked them up today. We bagged them. You're not going to be able to see because there's condensation on the birds. But we bagged them in bags like this, zip-tied them, and then they can be eaten fresh or um, frozen. Sorry about that. There's halogen um, lights in here, and it goes... Sorry about that. So that's how we do it. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out um, if I made money or lost money. If we made some, I didn't make a ton, but it was a fun experience. It's good for the kids and we make a little bit of money. Um, so if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you've gotten this far, please think about clicking that subscribe button, the thumbs up and leaving a comment. I really appreciate it. Hope you've enjoyed the process. And as always, God bless you and your family as he has so richly blessed ours. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.